Roderick Crawford, the Oscar-winning actor, died Saturday in Rancho Mirage, California. Crawford was 74 and died of complications from several strokes. Leonard Malton remembers his career. They tried to ruin me, but they are ruined. They tried to ruin me because they did not like what I have done. And if any man tries to stop me from fulfilling that right and that will, I'll break him. I'll break him with my bare hands, for I have the strength of many. As the dynamic, tyrannical Southern politician Willie Stark and all the King's men, Crawford turned in his most powerful performance. The role earned Crawford the Best Actor Academy Award. But it's not as the ruthless political czar that he'll be best remembered, but as one of TV's toughest cops. Didn't take our eye long on that one, the dead man is Vince Garrow. Crawford served on Highway Patrol from 1955 to 1959, and there was no nonsense when Captain Dan Matthews was around. Cut the phony act. Your payroll reads like a police blotter. You're up to your ears in the rackets, and someday I'm going to prove it, but right now I want to find out about Vince Garrow. Hey, Broad. Oh, Broad, I'm so flattered that you could come. Following Highway Patrol, he was recognized in numerous films, perhaps the most enjoyable, A Little Romance, in which he portrayed himself. The winner of a new champ by TKO. You got a hell of a right hand there, kid. Just like when you hit Walt Bond in Tin Town. Who? Walt Bond. In what? Tin Town. Don't you remember? Millions will remember Broderick Crawford as an actor of talent and presence. Until then, remember, it isn't the car that kills, it's the driver. This is Broderick Crawford saying, see you next week. <laughs>